Hello. In this video, I am explaining about the relative velocity problems. So, first of all, read this problem. A river flows due south with a speed of 2 meter per second. The river is following south. Uh, you steer a motorboat across the river. Your velocity relative, veloc relative to the water is 4.2 meter per second due east. So, this is the river following southward and you are boating eastward, okay? The situation is like this. The air velocity is 4.2 meter per second due east and the velocity of water is 2 meter per second, okay? The river is 500 meter wide. So, this is 500 meter. 500 meter. What is your velocity, magnitude and direction relative to the earth? So, you have velocity with boat and the river also have velocity. The two things are in motion and our goal is to find the magnitude and the direction of the velocity of this boat uh, with respect to the ground. Some observer is looking from here from this point okay which is ground is stationary condition so this is the situation now uh, let's go to the second problem okay b part b how much time is required to cross the river so to cross the river you need certain time right to go from here to there if there is the velocity of water you cannot go straight and you will go something like this and how long does it take from to go from this bank to the another bank right here this is the second part right and the third part is how far south of your starting point will you reach so this distance how much is this distance you can say uh, this distance is a, a vertical distance like y Okay, okay. So first thing in physics problem is you have to identify what is the relevant concept to solve this problem. What are the given parameters, and what you have to find that we call target variable. So first step here is identification of the relevant concept. So in this case, relevant concept is the relative velocity in two dimension because velocities are two dimension along x axis and y axis. You are moving eastward, that is considered to be x-axis, and a river is moving southward, that is y-axis, okay? So, this is the relevant concept. What is given in the question? The first thing given here is the velocity of man relative to the water, right? We can represent it by Vmw, okay? Vmw. So, which is equal to 4.2 meter per second. 4.2 meter per second. Look at here. 4.2 meters per second due east. This is velocity of boat. And another thing given here is velocity of uh, river with respect to earth. So these two things are given. Velocity of man relative to water. Vmw. 4.2 meter per second. Velocity of water relative to the earth. Vwe is equal to 2 meter per second okay and it, our goal is to find the velocity of the man relative to the earth right so bme equal to what okay okay so these are the target variable for the first part so angle pi is equal to what that is the direction once you are able to identify what you have to find, what is the relevant concept, and what are the given things in the equation, you have to set off. This is the most crucial part in which you will uh, write down the equation that you are using to, to solve the target variable, and if possible, you can draw a diagram. So in this equation, you know, the velocity of man with respect to water is eastward, right? 4.2. So let us consider this a, a vector 
represented by a vector velocity of man is to water okay so 4.2 and uh, the river is following in, in uh, flowing in uh, southward so bwe velocity of water with respect to earth vector is this one okay this downward direction so these vectors can be added vectorically right we cannot add vectors like a scalar so velocity of man with respect to earth will be equal to sum of the velocity of man with respect to water this line plus velocity of water with respect to earth this line right if two vectors are there and if you put head of one vector with tail of the another vector then third side that is closing side will represent the uh, resultant of these two vectors okay so these two vectors p w e and p m w uh, are perpendicular to each other so you can use pythagorean theorem in which the longest side this side here uh, square of this side hypotenuse will be equal to square of the base this one and square of the uh, height okay that is opposite side okay so we are able to draw a diagram of the situation and here is the angle right or with respect to horizontal line this is the angle theta is the angle okay so these are the target variables now execute Execute means calculate the target variable by using given information. So execution part is the easiest part doing the mathematics. After setting up, let's go to solve velocity of man with respect to earth. Uh, if you uh, simplify this equation, uh, BME is equal to, you can put the square root here and get this equation. After inserting all value for BMW and BWE, you will get this expression. And if you calculate these things, then you will get 2.7 meter per second, per second, right? So this is the velocity of man with respect to earth, 4.7 meter per second. However, you are moving, uh, going eastward with the velocity of uh, 4.2 the diagonal that is the resultant your resultant velocity is 4.7 meter per second okay so now 10 theta gives you the direction a 10 phi okay so look at here what is 10 phi phi is here if it is 10 10 phi means b b m w b m w right this one base the height divided by the base okay so go down here uh, the 10 pi is equal to bmw divided by bwe okay so if you insert value of bmw and bwe you will get this okay so after calculating the value of phi you will get 64.5 degree okay uh this is angle pi but look at here this angle is here if we have to find this angle with respect to the horizontal line then we have to find the theta theta is this angle so this total angle is 90 degree if you subtract this angle from 90 degree you will get theta okay so subtracting uh nine 64.5 from 90 degree you will get theta which is 25.5 degree so with horizontal x-axis uh angle that is your direction is 25.5 degree okay so you find your resultant velocity that is the relative velocity of man with respect to the earth which is 4.7 meter per second and the direction which is 25.5 degree south of the east okay it is pointing south towards the east that's the meaning now the second part is you have to find the time how long does it take to go from one bank of river to the another bank so in in the second part the target variable is time to find the time 
you need the distance and the velocity. What is the horizontal component of the velocity? Which is 4.2 meter per second, which is the velocity of man with respect to uh, water, right? So distance is 500 meter. The distance from one bank to the another bank of river is 500 meter. So time t is equal to x divided by distance divided by velocity that gives you time 119 seconds. Okay, so time is 119 seconds. So in the third part, uh, the target variable is the distance traveled by man two hours south, right? Because if this is the river and the resultant velocity of man is this one or boat is this one, then, you know, the south from the starting point, how far is man traveled from this point to the, this point so this distance okay which we represent by y so we know the vertical velocity which is velocity of water two meter per second right and we know the time how long does it take to go from here to here right it takes 109 seconds we get it from the part b and we have velocity then you can easily find the uh, vertical distance traveled by man which is y distance equal to velocity multiplied by time right the velocity is 2 meter per second and the time is 119 this gives you 238 meter okay so uh, your boat will uh, go down in south by 238 meter okay if there is no river you know you, you cannot travel this much distance in towards the south you know you directly go from here to here right which is y equal to 338 meter south from the starting point okay now finally you can evaluate this question whether you are doing right or wrong if water speed is absent there is the x component of the velocity is 4.2 and the distance is 500 right if you uh, divide the distance by velocity you will get time and you will get directly 119 second right the value we have calculated in the in the uh, in part b of this equation is also 119 which is true it means water current doesn't affect horizontal motion okay